Hello, uh, and today we will talk about Advent of Code Day 6 um, solution. Um, basically, Day 6 was pretty easy one um, in terms that you can just brute force it. Um, so what you want to find out is um, there is a time and a distance and uh, the logic behind that you spend some time pressing the button and then you have time that left to uh, bolt moving sp uh, like speed uh, depends on how much you was holding the button um, so in uh, in case of 7 and 9 for example um, if you hold ze uh, 0 milliseconds it will, sp it will pass a 0 millimeters if you hold 1 uh, you have six seconds left, so it will pass six millimeters. If you hold for two, uh, you have five seconds left, and speed will be two millimeters per uh, millisecond, so it will be ten, and so on. And we want to find out the solution, uh, the count of solutions that will exceed uh, the distance. So in case of one, uh, this will be like two, three, four, and five milliseconds. Because two milliseconds is 10, it's more than nine. Um, three is 12, four is 12, and five is 10. Uh, and for this one, uh, as I said, you can brute force it. But basically this is a quadratic uh, inequality formula. Um, here you can see me uh, trying to find out this um, formula uh, I was playing around with numbers uh, of sec milliseconds and then I was figure figure out that we have such inequality that uh, the number of seconds we hold power uh, time we uh, have minus um, number of milliseconds we hold is need to be more than a uh, distance uh, that means record so in our case we just making it uh, as quadratic formula uh, then we just go through it uh, and using um, root uh, I mean you have several uh, variants you can solve this uh, I was solving it uh, the way uh, is when you have a security. Uh, so basically, after I was going through formula, uh, we finding out that we have like two solutions: x uh, more than minus t plus security, uh, etc., and x less than minus t minus. Uh, so let's just try this formula for example of t uh, then t is 30 and uh, d is 200 so basically um, first we will go with first one x more than uh, minus 30 plus sqrt uh, 30 uh, 900 minus 4 uh, 2 so it's 800 right uh, till minus uh, divide by minus 2 x more than uh, minus 30 plus uh, 10 minus 2 so basically we get uh, minus 20 uh, we get 10 uh, so because uh, it's uh, not a float number and int what we get is 11 so minimal 11 milliseconds and we can see uh, this is um, one solution and the second one is x minus uh, so when we are less than it's minus 30 basically the same uh, just uh, minus 10 uh, uh, minus sqrt uh, 900 it's 800 <coughs> divide by minus 2 x less than minus 30 minus 10 uh, minus 2 and we get in x uh, is more than 20 
and because uh, less than 20 and because it's uh, full we need, we get in 19 and basically uh, this is the answer so after that what we need is just uh, get the difference of those um, plus one so in our case 19 minus 11 plus 1 uh, will be uh, 9 and we can see that a total to uh, 9 ways you could win uh, so this is basically the formula uh, for the actual code uh, I was doing it uh, in um, in Go uh, but you can use any language easily because this is basically just a math problem um, so you can see we we're getting input, uh, splitting it, getting the number. So for uh, this is part two. For part two, the only difference is that we have not like three games, but we just can cut them. So we got one game with such numbers, uh, and numbers are pretty big, but uh, kind of small that you can brute force it. So we're parsing it and then we're just doing calc low, L calc high and take the difference as I said before and then we just power it because the result should be uh, powered like all the results. Uh, uh, to be honest because we have one game there is nothing to power um, but old code will work anyway. Um, and we will have this branch. I just copy pasted it from the day one, uh, part one. And here you can see formulas. Basically, as I said, calc low and calc high, we're using those uh, formula. Um, yes, yeah, so that's it for day six. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel uh, and see you on other problem solving.